How's it going, guys? Maddie Tingles here. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm so glad that you are, and I'm happy to be here as well. Um, so today's video is going to be, uh, I think, kind of cool and a little bit experimental. Um, basically, what today is going to be is testing four, 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 testing four different microphones that are commonly used in ASMR. I hope that in this video you can figure out which microphone you like the most and maybe that will help you narrow down videos that you like um, and uh, creators that you like and, and I just think it's um, I just think it would be kind of cool to see uh, which microphone at least for me my fans and viewers like the most so I hope that you find something that you like in this video um, and I hope that you find a microphone that works for you so thank you guys so much for being here and uh, I hope that you find the microphone that works for you uh, let's get into the video enjoy also before I start very quickly, I want to tell you about um, Filmora Pro. Um, this is a company that I've worked with before, and uh, this is another version of their uh, great software that um, you should try. So Filmora Pro, Filmora Pro, Filmora Pro. Um, all the links will be in the description for you to check it out. I highly recommend Filmora. Um, I've used it multiple times. Um, I just downloaded Filmora Pro and I plan on editing this video um, on it. Um, but they make it really, really easy for creators to edit their edit their videos and be creative and kind of make your own um, feel and, and style. Um, so obviously you can add video and audio. Everyone can do that. Um, it has unlimited video tracks, which is awesome. Um, there's advanced um, editing modes, which is really cool. Um, there is like uh, some really cool audio features in it as well. Um, and just, I don't know, um, it's very customizable. And again, that's why I think it's really cool to create your own style on it because there's a lot of ways to customize um, and establish uh, your your signature style, right? Um, yeah, there. But there's like there's like automatic um, audio lineup, which is really important. Um, syncing, sorry, audio syncing with the video, which is really important for especially like what I do. It makes it way easier. Um, but anyway. Thank you to Filmora for partnering with me again, and uh, I hope that you guys check it out. Links in the description. All right, let's get to the mics. The first one being the Yeti, the Yeti, the Yeti, the Yeti, the blue Yeti, and the blue Yeti, the blue Yeti microphone, blue Yeti microphone, blue Yeti microphone. Oh man, if there's any rappers out there that make trap music, make uh make blue a trap song with that as the hook. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna be going, uh, I'm gonna be using uh this one and three others, and so I'm gonna do um the same triggers on each one, and then my goal is to find out which one you guys like the most, not just with me, but just in general. And any other ASM artists out there who are watching this, I hope this helps as well, um, because um, it's always good to know, you know, kind of crowdsource what what people like. Um, I do want to preface this with saying I think that every single thing in ASMR is subjective. And so just because someone doesn't like something doesn't mean there's not thousands or millions of people who like who like it so um i don't want like i don't want to make this like an argument thing it's just more uh, vote in the comments which one you like right that's that's really all um so this is the blue yeti 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 and I would say that this is um, by far the most common microphone in ASMR. Um, I would say it is for a couple reasons. 
reasons. One, um, it just kind of became the the industry standard. Um, I, I don't even know when, maybe four years ago, three or four years ago. And uh, it just kind of became the microphone that it was like, okay, if you want to do this even remotely seriously, you needed a, a Blue Yeti. Um, it's also um, the most affordable. Um, I want to say new. They're like 129 I want to say. Um, and uh, any ASM artists out there or anyone interested in getting one, um, it's very popular for streaming as well. Um, my tip is look on eBay. Uh, I've seen them uh, used but in perfect condition for like 60 70 bucks on there. So um, definitely look on eBay. Uh, unless you just want to go buy it new, which is understandable as well. Um, I think this is my third or fourth one. Um, I actually have my old one right here. <laughs> and the only reason um, I've had to get new ones is because I've broken them. But uh, not because they broke, but because um, it was my fault. Like, I think this one, I knocked over the thing and so the port is completely broken but um yeah so that's this is the blue yeti um and then the one i'm using is a is the black one um but yeah i i think it's it just became the the industry standard and then it was relatively uh affordable to get so um yeah, it just it just kind of kind of made sense. So uh, this is gonna be the first one we test. I'm gonna do a couple triggers on it, and then we will move on to the next microphone. Okay, so uh, the first trigger I'm gonna go I'm gonna do is <laughs> um, brushing, and I think what you should probably look for is just sound quality and then like left to right when you're making your decision okay so i'm just gonna brush so this should be on your left side side.
your sound. So, here we go. So that is the Yeti, Blue Yeti microphone, the Blue Yeti microphone, and this is going to be um, definitely the most popular in the ASMR community. Um, I've always loved it. It's what I started with, and uh, it's it's always going to be my my go-to, if you will. So um, yeah, I lo I love this mic.
mean, I didn't even get this, uh, when did I get this? Like three months ago or something like that. Um, so I built my entire channel and career on the, with the Yeti. So, um, anyway, uh, I would say that this is the second most popular microphone in ASMR. It's just all about preference, um, but I do think that you can do more with this microphone than than the Yeti, um, strictly because it's binaural, right? Um, and 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 again, like it's 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 immersive. It's way more immersive than the Yeti. Um, so um, I guess I would say the only downside to the 3DO is the price. Um, while I personally think like, you know, you get what you pay for and a binaural mic with ears shouldn't be cheap. Um, you know, it's a lot. I think that currently right now on 3DO's site, this exact microphone, the 3DO um, Free Space XLR is $699. So that's a lot of um, money to spend on, on a microphone and, uh, and invest in, in yourself. Um, I personally, I was lucky enough to, um, get a, uh, sponsorship from them. And so they sent me, uh, this one for free. Um, and thank you to Jeff at, um, 3DO for that. Uh, I always wanted one and he made that happen. So, um, I, I guess I can't really talk about the price just because I didn't really pay for it, but um, I can say that I wanted it for a long time and never really pulled the trigger on buying it. So maybe that says something, I don't know. Um, but it is a little bit more expensive, but again, I personally think you get what you pay for. Um, but I think 3DO, just as much as the Yeti, is uh, instrumental in, in in the ASMR timeline and the history of ASMR because um, there's a ton of new subgenres that are done strictly on the 3DO. <laughs> so um, anyway, I'm going to do the two triggers that I did on the other one so you can kind of compare. Um, so let's do that. So as you uh, remember on the Yeti, I used, um, I don't know how to do this. I'm not a makeup person, but I, I see them do that, so I guess that's a thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I did, uh, you know, on the Yeti. So let's do that on here now. And this should be in your left ear, in your left ear, in your left ear. And the old, uh, just so you know, I'm pressing right here because it's on a mic stand that's, you know, um, up to here on, on me, and it's a little bit wobbly because it's, you know, up, um, so that's why, just so you know.
videos, uh, I want to say like four or five videos ago.
said you would need two of them, so that's, um, you know, more expensive than the Yeti, of course, um, and almost, like, that's what, 570, um, no, 540, sorry, um, so, you know, it's, it's, again, an investment, and, um, I personally got these recently because I just wanted to experiment with them and also just have, you know, more tools to, to work with and create with. So, um, anyway, uh, yeah, I would say these are, uh, becoming more popular, but still, um, oh, I'm, I'm, uh, Maria has always, has done a two mic setup for a long time as well. Um, but, uh, anyway, this is the third one I'm going to show you. And again, these are the Rode N. So, um, yeah, let's get to the triggers. All right, so again, I'm going to do the brushing. Uh, and, of course, because it's two different microphones, I'm, I'm just going to do uh, one at a time instead of, you know, on the Yeti. And so that's something to think about when purchasing these is, like, your setup. Like, you know, with the Yeti and the 3DO, you need one mic stand, and for these, you need two. So, just something to think about.
consider when um, thinking about getting these with a 3DO is that you need an interface, right? So, like, for instance, um, I have the Scarlet, uh, I think they're the, like, the i8i, um, and it's just an interface, um, and there's, you know, like, recorders and stuff, but, you know, it's probably gonna be, um, you know, a couple, at least a couple hundred more dollars to get a legitimate, um, interface to use and power these.
even the, um, like the Apple Store role plays and like I think the first Fortnite props and everything was on my phone. I just never really told anybody. But it worked.